Probably the most important mechanical invention of all time, the wheel has a long and varied history. For 5,500 years we have been thinking up ever more inventive ways of using wheels to improve our lives. From watermills to jet planes, a whole range of things that we use routinely rely in some way on the wheel. Even before the wheel had been invented, humans had devised various ways to move heavy objects around. Humans first domesticated animals between 9000 and 7000 BCE, and people began using oxen to draw plows around 4000 BCE. Camels, elephants, horses, llamas, yaks, and goats have all been used as beasts of burden. Known from at least 7000 BCE, sledges were used by hunting and fishing communities in northern Europe. Whether pulled by people, dogs, or deer, their long, thin runners spread the weight of a heavy load over almost any terrain, including snow or ice, sliding freely like skis. Ancient Mesopotamian potters were the first people, as far as we know, to make use of wheels, for spinning clay to fashion their wares, as long ago as 3500 BCE. Evidence from diagrams found on clay tablets suggests wheels did not catch on as a handy aid to transport for another 300 years, when the Mesopotamians started to build chariots in 3200 BCE. Even with this intellectual barrier breached, the development of our most useful asset progressed at a very slow pace. It would be another 1600 years before the ancient Egyptians invented chariot wheels with spokes. While the concept might seem simple to us today, there must, however, be something about the wheel that is conceptually difficult. Neither the Mayan, the Aztec, nor the Incan civilizations, all of which were highly developed, used the wheel. In fact, there is no evidence that the Americas ever saw a wheel before it trundled over with the Europeans. In Europe, wheels evolved steadily through the ages until the early 19th century and the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, which saw rapid advances in their development. How wheels work. There are three reasons why wheels make moving a load over the ground considerably easier than just dragging or pushing it. Most importantly, they greatly reduce friction. While the small part of a wheel that is in contact with the ground will not move, the rest of the wheel can roll on over the top of it, carrying the whole structure forward or back. Second, wheels make it much easier to change the direction of the pushing or pulling of the load. Third, wheels raise the load so reducing the angle at which the force required to move the load must be applied. All three factors are evident when pushing a loaded wheelbarrow. Importance of the wheel Wheels have had a huge influence on the evolution of human society. The potter's wheel, the first known type of wheel, the watermill's turbine, and the spinning wheel have all played a significant part in shaping history. Think also of the wheels on the chariots that armies used to subjugate enemies, or the wheeled plows and farm vehicles that transformed agricultural practice. One of the wheel's most important forms is the cogwheel. With a history dating back more than 3,000 years, to the first rudimentary gears made from wooden wheels with pegs driven into the rims, cogs have been central to the development of transportation and timepieces. Modern Uses once you start to look closely at the modern world, you see that a host of things that we take for granted depend on wheels to function. Petrol, diesel, and jet engines, disc drives, even the electric toothbrush, none of these everyday things could work without an internal wheel to keep them moving. Given the wheel's central place in everyday life, there is never likely to be a post-wheel period in human history. Improving roads Wheels work much better when they can roll across a smooth surface. Rudimentary roads began to appear soon after the first chariots. Even today, a great deal of money is still spent on developing even better road surfaces. Harnessing energy Whether it is wind power, water power, or steam power that turns the blades, wheels are at the heart of turbines, which play a vital part in producing most of the electricity that we use around the world, in fact. Spreading the load. Narrow wheels sink into soft ground under the burden of a heavy load. To spread heavy loads, tractors have very wide wheels, while tanks and other extremely heavy armored vehicles have caterpillar tracks over wide wheels. Thank you for watching. Please like and share. And don't forget to subscribe.